Okay, so we're going to find the chirality of each one, meaning we're going to find out if it's RS, essentially, is what we want to do. So uh, let's go to the first one here, and if you want to work ahead, go for it. Uh, we'll catch up to you eventually. Highest priority would be, oh, that'd be a very fluorine, then oxygen, uh, then this one, because it's a carbon attached to another carbon, versus this one, carbon attached to hydrogen. Uh, what do you get for that first one? S. Yeah, I think I got S. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Does anybody want me to do some of the ways for you? If you do the bus driver, it's like this. You're driving your bus and you're turning it left. You use your hand, you got your left hand. Here's kind of in front, and then it goes two behind, three wrapped around to the other side. It's left handed, you can't do that with your right hand. Uh, if you do it visually, you've already got it. And then you could do it a paper method if you prefer. Uh, the paper method would go like this. You'd redraw it, uh, putting four in the back. Oh, I kind of drew that kind of funky looking, but you get the idea. CH3, uh, and then I'd put the OH up here. I'd leave the F where it was, and I'd leave the ethyl group where it was. I'd renumber. So I've got four here. This is still three. That's still one. This is still uh, two. This goes right from one to two to three. So my original one had to be left. Get that out of the brightness there. Okay, any questions on that one? Should have picked one of those ways to figure this out. Okay, let's do kind of a medium level one now. First thing you should sort of do is find out if it's chiral. Is there a carbon here that has four different groups on it? Yes, good. Okay. So this one has an ethyl, a methyl, an ethyl, a chlorine, and an undrawn hydrogen. Let me draw in that hydrogen for you. There it is. That's four different groups. That will be chiral, for sure. Uh, so let's uh, put the priorities here. It'd be one, two, three, four. Uh, one for chlorine, it's the highest. Two for the ethyl, because it's bonded to another carbon. Three for the methyl, it's a carbon, but with other hydrogens on it. And then four for the hydrogen, least priority. So again, you run into trouble. Uh, what did you get for this? R. I, I think I get S. So if you rotate it in your mind, you probably already got that down. If you do the bus driver, you've got the steering, the steering column in front of you. So you've got to kind of turn it around. You're turning left. Uh, if you use your thumb, Use your right hand, one to two to three. It's pointing out at you, where if you use your right hand, it, it doesn't work. So it's still S. Uh, and if you do the paper method, let's do that. Uh, you would draw it where you flip. You have to flip uh, one and four, I guess. H, and you renumber it, one, two, three, and four. And you're going around, in this case, from one to two to three, to the right. So this one has to be left. So all of them obviously give you the same answer. They have to. I hope you're starting to get used to how to do it. it it'll take a while. It doesn't mean that you see it here and you'll totally know how to do it. Um, but after time, you'll start to get used to it more and more as you pick your favorite method. OK, here's a tough one. Does this have a chiral center, where there's a carbon with four hydrogens? Yes. It does. Where is that? Is this one? Yeah. Yes. And here. This one has two. It has two. I'll put a dot where they are. One's here, and one's there. So let's draw in the undrawn hydrogens. Okay. 
Let's try the one on top first. And I'll zoom in a little bit here so it's a little easier to see. All right, let's try the one on the top first. Uh, we've got four here. This would be one. Now to get two, that's a little crazier. Let me do two pointers here. These are both carbons. But when you go to the next carbon here, it's true these are both carbons, but this one up here on the left, has two hydrogens bonded to it, where this carbon has one hydrogen and a methyl. So this one over here on the right hand side is going to have higher priority. Two and three. Anybody need me to re-explain that? The one on the right will have higher priority because if you go down the chain, we have a substituent here. We have a branch. That's going to make a higher priority. Okay, what do you get for this one? I get R. Uh, if you do it in your head, if you do it with your thumb, four is in back. So you go one on top, then two, then three. Like that. The bus driver, you're just turning to the right. One to two to three. Uh, the paper method is actually pretty easy here because you don't have to redraw it. You already have four in the back. So as is, it goes from one to two to three. That's right. You don't have to invert, invert it to S because you're not redrawing really anything. So you should get R. For the one on the bottom, let's label those as well. I'll try to label those in blue so they look a little different. This is four. Um, this is, uh, let's see, oh my gosh. Okay. So we've got a methyl. We've got carbon, carbon, and carbon. They're all carbons. But this one's going to be three because this carbon's not bonded to any other carbons. Now let's, let's take a look at these two here. These are also both carbons that are bonded to other carbons. But the carbon on the right is bonded to an iodine, where the carbon on the left is just bond bonded to hydrogens and other carbons. So here is going to be the second most priority here on the right-hand side. So this will be, or the first priority has the most, one, and this will be two. What do you get when you do this one? You should get an S. Uh, if you do the bus driver, you hold the steering column, and you go like this, turning the bus left. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you do your uh, thumb method, Four is where your thumb is, then you go from one. Uh, you can't do two, three with your right hand, but with the left, you can go one, curl down to two, and then three. It's left-handed. You do it the paper method. This is also easy because four is in the back. You're turning to the left in that case. Any questions on any of these that I have just done? Or in general.